So a few weeks ago I did an experiment where I modified a microwave oven so that it would turn on with the door open. And I was trying to make the point that the radio frequency energy that we're being exposed to can't cook us as some would imply. And when I was done with the video, a couple of people challenged me on some of my ideas. And they're still convinced that radio waves are deadly. In fact, one of them was a radio frequency engineer who told me he's presently dying of cancer and he's convinced it has something to do with his occupation and the exposure he's had to radio frequency energy. Well, I, I don't know how to prove or disprove whether that's true or not. In fact, I thought it'd be fair to say that because we're dealing with an invisible force here, for me to say absolutely there's no danger would be just as ignorant as for somebody to buy in wholeheartedly to the idea that it's going to kill you, you know, and I, I mean it's kind of an unknown. In fact, if you Google this topic on YouTube or or um, Google, <laughs> Google it on YouTube or, <laughs> okay, anyway, if you, if you research it, you're going to find a lot of conflicting information and it's kind of hard to know who to believe. Now, one of the videos I recently saw online was a bunch of students in a school that had modified a uh, I should say modified, they put a router inside of a box lined with tin foil and they were trying to show how you can't germinate seeds that are too close to a Wi-Fi router. When I saw that I was kind of disturbed and I thought well maybe this stuff is more deadly than I thought. So I decided to conduct my own experiment <clears throat> and what I did was I, I uh, figured out where on my router the signal would be the strongest by holding this little lectenna here right above the antenna inside the router and I figured, well, this would be the perfect spot to put some seeds to see if they're able to germinate in this location. So I got a little container and I threw some chia seeds in there, set them right on here, let it sit there for about three days with a cap on it, and, uh, and take a look. Uh, the seeds did sprout. Now I tried it with two different containers. One was on the left, farther away from the antenna. It, it does look a little bit different, but I mean, this is not a very scientific experiment I did. The temperature might be off by a couple degrees here. The lighting in here is a little bit different. I didn't have quite as many seeds in this one. But the main point I wanted to show was that the seeds are sprouting and the exposure these things are getting versus what I saw in that video uh, would, would be a lot more intense this way than putting it in a box, you know, a few feet, inches away from the router. So I just wanted to demonstrate that. Another myth exposed. Um, I think the students might have made a mistake in their experiment in that not realizing that the router in itself being in the box was probably raising the temperature and maybe that had some bearing on it. I don't know for sure. But I thought this experiment was worth checking out. Anyway, for what it's worth, there you have it. I'm able to sprout these seeds just fine right above the Wi-Fi signal. So. I hope you enjoy the video. As always, if you do, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.